Miss Mataidiwa, talking about the glitch, the glitch drama, as you put it. As that night was very concerning for everybody, uh, in the middle of uh, counting and the results coming out electronically, and then everything shuts down, as far as the figures are concerned. And even after that, uh, we picked up on some things on the app, and we continued to ask the question in terms of some areas where there were more votes being tallied, uh, more than the registered number of voters in certain areas, and those were some of the concerns that we had put earlier, but then when the final results come out, some things had changed. Uh, there is a level of suspicion, and there were a lot of questions sent in relation to the glitch on why the investigation has not been done. Thank you, Vijay. <coughs> now, uh, for the glitch, um, last year it was being informed not only to us but uh, to the uh, stakeholders in general that there was going to be an audit uh, on the glitch. For us at the uh, Fijian Elections Office, we wouldn't be able to conduct audit on our own system. It would need someone independent. Otherwise, it would have seen that it's uh, manipulation again. So uh, we facilitated um, this uh, statement that an audit was going to be made and we were very proactive in it. In fact, when we were approached by uh, the uh, then former Attorney General and uh, the current SG, we provided them all the necessary information that was uh, needed. And so afterwards, because we also had our review our 2022 general election review with our stakeholders, they had also raised their concern that glitch needs to be uh, investigated. So we followed through with that uh, um, uh, request from our stakeholders and uh, we continued to ask uh, the Office of the Solicitor General and the uh, Attorney General then on the status. It's been after a year now and uh, we still hadn't received any uh, update uh, from them. It's a lot of concern about 17 months, mm. this thing hanging over the heads of everybody. Yes. And uh, the former Attorney General Siromi Turanga, who is now just the Minister for Justice, and of course Graham Leung is a former chair of the Electoral Commission, uh, are you planning to right to him now, you know, he would know more because he's mm. been a former chair. In fact, uh, today's uh, news for us, it was light at the end of the tunnel because, uh, and on this note, I would also want to uh, congratulate the uh, new uh, Attorney General. And uh, for us, this is a good opportunity to bring back all these pending issues. And uh, we uh, believe and we will be positive that this will be expedited uh, soon. Yeah, 17 months. So, new Attorney General, you've got your work cut out. Please uh, get it moving with the Solicitor General, Mr. Ropati Green Lomavatu. Uh, we would like uh, definitely answers. We On this show, a lot of questions have come through. And uh, as the Supervisor of Elections put, puts it, you cannot be auditing your own yeah. system. That's why uh, some suggestions made earlier that you need to make the move yourself. What do you have to say to yes. them? Um, if they're saying move myself, then this is the move that we are taking. Uh, I won't be able to uh, call for an audit myself because there has been a cabinet decision. And uh, so uh, with that, we let that decision follow through. And now it's a matter of accountability. You've started it, and now we are asking you to finish it. To get it done. Yes.